right, guys. I have another video, another Midwest Industries uh, video here for you. Um, I've got a rail here to add to this. Now, I've seen some uh, videos of their drop-in rails before and things like that, and I've actually used one. I had one on my Spike Tactical I used to have uh, several years ago and they are outstanding rails you guys are familiar with midwest industries which you probably are they are outstanding stuff uh, but i've seen i don't on youtube i don't think i've seen um, too many people really do a review on this particular rail drop-in rails but not this rifle length rail but i've seen people on youtube of course using the rifle length rail but just not a, a kind of a review of it anything it's just a mc ar-15 m16 two-piece drop-in handguard is all it is quad rail are quad rail still relevant of course they are um you know a lot of the military still uses <laughs> you know on their rifles drop-in rails which are like that but that is it you know and it's a two-piece drop-in rail like that but yeah I mean you can get a free float with this one they also have another drop-in rail also that is M-lock like this so if you wanted an M-lock I wanted the quad rail just a beefy rail you know like that to do but See if we can do this on camera here. It's, not, it's going to be kind of tough without adjusting the adjusting it. There we go. There we go. All right. There it is. And that's going to be like that. So. Very cool. Um, so yeah, you start with the top rail and all that. All right, there it is. Um, a little tougher to do without the tool on this one because I mean those springs are tight you know but I got it in there took a couple minutes got it in there it looks good looks good I'm going with the rail on this because well I wanted something a little more solid gives me the option to use lights and things like that if I so choose um, I like to keep this one pretty standard oh there we go so as you can see, it locked it. It's straight on there, so that's a good thing. No wiggle, no wiggle whatsoever on that. So very cool. So yeah, that's really it. It's just a uh, drop-in rail, and Midwest Industries, you know. I've got a Daniel Defense and the DD4 M7, V7, you've seen that one. I use it, you know, quite a bit here. It's my painted rifle. Man, you can't beat the Midwest Industries rifle rails. Um, they are solid. You know, Daniel Defense is known. That's how they got their start, really, is in making rails and that they they do have outstanding rails. They really do. But you know what? So does Midwest Industries for a half to quarter of the price on some stuff. You know, you can get the same exact thing. And very similar in looks to their stuff, a lot of it. So, but anyway, that is it. And 
it may add a few ounces to the weight of the rifle over the polymer hand guards, but kind of boogered it up a little bit, the paint there, but whatever. This is gonna get the paint job. I just haven't done it yet. I am gonna paint this though, so. But, that's a solid lockup. Doesn't have any, really any wiggle that much. So, a little bit, not too much. Not any more than the plastic hand guards. But yeah, and Midwest Industries has a lot of rails for different sizes of the rifle, mid links many different lengths however you so choose different styles of uh of hand guards you know they got hem locks and they've got uh these, these, you know quad rails right here and they've got the combat rails and things like that now i've got a video coming up here that i'm going to be doing here pretty soon i'm just waiting on a couple things and i kind of kind of want to present it but it's going to be a lot of midwest industry stuff so and I'll show that pretty soon. But anyway, that's it. Just a uh, review, a quick view of the Midwest Industries rifle length, full length rifle rail. And I have no doubt about their products because, well, I've used one like this for a carbine length, exact same thing, for years. And it was just fine. So, anyway, that is it. That's going to be the video. But, very cool. This will get the paint job. Midwest Industries, check them out. Link below.